Hi everybody and welcome to another Plan With Me sesh with DEK Designs. My name is Ruth. I am the social media marketing manager for DEK and this week we're going to be using the kit into fall. Um, I want to use the final fall kit because as we can see all of the new kits are holiday inspired and winter and since this technically is the last month of fall um i decided that a photo kit would be perfect since it's throwing some fall and winter vibes so right now i'm going to show you page by page what comes in this kit which is still available in the shop you can still use basically until next year it's really cute. So the first page is this full box page. It's in gold foiling. Simple, beautiful kit. Here is the quarter boxes, um, some strips, some habit trackers, your appointment labels, um, Weekend Banner, this is where you get your half circle scalloped, um, yeah, I think I said that wrong, uh, half scalloped circles, there you go, um, decorative flags, um, scalloped headers, work labels, some plain ones here. Here is your bottom washi, date covers, some deco or um, icons featuring Boo Bear and other shop favorites. Ooh. Um, here are your full checklist boxes, your quarter checklist, checklist boxes, your flag checklist, and some mini page flags. Here are your headers, your to-do headers, your um, glitter headers, some date dots, and foiled icons, functional icons, everything wrapped in foil. So, let's get to it. I'm going to start off with our um, headers. Oh, before I get started. The kit brings everything, but I like to pull out some cute little things to add on to the um, to the kit, um, just to you know spice it up and stuff. And I am actually choosing a bow that goes, I think, perfectly with the kit. This bow is a VIP bow, so um, if you're not familiar with the VIP, if you have orders of more than ten or more than 10 orders, um, you are a VIP member and you will get a special bow. Um, here are some things I'm pulling out from the shop. Some are foiled, some are in the shop, others are um, PR um, samplers and stuff like that. So definitely make sure that you get um, your PR girl and get her code so you can get all that fun stuff so I'm gonna put that to the side and we're gonna start with our headers I usually mess up with this so let's hope and pray that I don't mess up this time um I'm gonna start with the glitter headers for now and I'm gonna put the glitter headers in the sections where there's going to be a full box and I'm going to continue that down Uh, 
Also, I totally forgot to say that we are planning the week of the 16th to the 22nd. By the way, isn't it crazy? I just have to say this. It's, it's insane how we are already almost done with this year. And like we're already, what, we have a, a little less than a month here. Well, a little less than a couple, than a week. Yeah, because the next week will be the last spread for November. And then it's crazy then we're in December and then time is just flying time is just flying I'm having a little hard time taking out the headers but that's because this kit is an oopsie kit there really isn't much of an oopsie on the kit, but, you know, cuts and sometimes foiling um, get damaged or don't cut through. So, but if you see me that I'm taking a little longer than normal, it's because it is an oopsie. And don't worry, these will not be oopsies for you when you order. You could order with total confidence. Wow. So yeah, this kit, the colors and everything. I actually been holding on to this kit. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Sorry. Um, I've actually been holding on to this kit for a while. And I really wanted to use it. Um, for the week before Thanksgiving. I can't wait for you to see next week's kit. That's going to be gorgeous. So what I love about this is that it does have the to do, the today and work and meals and exercise and all that good stuff. So I'm really happy about that. So this is where I'm going to start mixing glitter headers with um with the to do's yeah I think that's gonna look pretty so yeah these colors are my absolute I think I say that about every kit but these colors are my favorite they're so simple, so nice. Let's see. I think that's better. Um, I'll do it to. Oh, I'll do meals. Okay, just in handy so last week I told you guys about how I was pre-planning pre-planning my week and doing all the all the good stuff I, I felt very confident last week because I had pre-planned and everything and unfortunately a lot of things happened last week and it didn't allow me to pre-plan this week um, as you might know and if you don't I live in Florida so we did have a hurricane um, that caused a bunch of schools to close and my schedule oops that is sorry about that I'm gonna put that over here that's next week's kit I like to do that <clears throat> But yes, um, oh yeah, we're gonna everywhere hot boxes are. 
One thing I need to make sure is if this kit has a, where are those full boxes? Oh, it does have scenery. Okay, that's fine. We, I'm definitely gonna have to work through that one. So yes, my schedule went completely out of whack. I Okay. Um so yeah, I couldn't pre-plan. I couldn't I was so backed up. I was so behind. I was trying to do so many things in a couple days and it just it went from there so I'm hoping that this planning this plan with me video goes as smooth as I can make it because I am working on a kind of chaotic schedule. Oh, and plus my kids had doctor's appointments, unexpected doctor's appointments, which I've been trying to book for so long, for months, and they finally, because of COVID, they decided to finally give some appointments so yeah, that all that was happening. So it's hectic. But it's okay. Here we are, made it to another week. And the good thing is that the kit makes it all better. I don't know. I like one of the reasons why I like this shop is because the kits are so pretty, they're so precious, and they bring out the mood, like a really great mood. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which headers to use. Let's see what else. There's just so much, so much, so much. I'll just do another. So, oh, so Black Friday is looking so different this year. I'm just thinking I know I am definitely an online shopper for most things not a lot of things most things so I wanted to know are you an online shopper or not how comfortable do you feel with online shopping I know I cannot buy, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable buying clothes online, clothes, shoes, anything like that. Everything else, I'm pretty confident in.
I'm gonna keep going with that one. So yeah, <clears throat> I um definitely this year I'm keeping it very simple with the shopping. And as you can see, I did that wrong. So yeah, I'm keeping it simple with the shopping. I'm not really going to go crazy or spend tons of money. I don't know how that's all that's going to work out. But I do know that I'm shopping small, getting lots of planner stuff, definitely. And just wanted to know. What is everyone's take on that? Also, maybe a lot of people are, have been online shopping, so this is nothing, nothing new. I know I do a little bit, but to do most of it online, it's just, it's, it's new to me. So, um, we're going to move on to, I should do full boxes. I should do full boxes, but I want to do the bottom washi. Yeah, let me do the bottom washi. And then do full boxes. So, what I like about this, I don't have to decide how it's gonna go, it's already done, it's nice and neat. All the more reason this kit is making everything super simple. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, maybe I don't have to. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to start at the bottom So play it safe. I'm going to leave a little, just a little teensy wincy gap barely noticeable hmm. I don't think I laid that right much better Now I'm gonna do the other side, same thing, bottom, bottom washi. Probably gonna have to do a little bit of trimming. Oh, no I didn't. Maybe that's what I have to do. I just noticed that. Maybe it's not all about pairing it up with the lines. If I just go, yeah, a little bit away from the line. Pretty cool. Um, 
I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna do a little bit of random because usually I save the headers for last the headers the page flags so I'm just gonna do that right now and then just start setting up my weekend banner Sometimes I like to switch it up. I guess it's it's just the how I'm going with the flow. And like right now the flow is just stay on the page, continue. I feel like this um, kit is like every planner girl's envision because it has the planner, the flowers, the aesthetic is so precious. The coffee mug. Oh, the candles. Right, that's a candle. Oh no, it's not a candle. It's another coffee mug. One is coffee, one is tea, you'll see. Um, so since I did that, I always have a thing if I'm gonna use this one or this one. And I think I'm going to use this one because since the weekend banner, well, let's take out the weekend banner and see. The weekend banner is in such light lettering. The color of the lettering is so light. I don't want to, I don't want it to not be visible. So yeah, definitely going to work. I'm just going to lay this right here. It fits perfectly. And now we're going to turn it around and place. It looks so pretty. It was a very beautiful combo. So now we're going to, I guess, just let's go on to the date dots and date covers. Seems about right. It's looking very pretty so far. So we're planning the 16th. Now let me do it on camera. Sorry, I'm not super chatty. I definitely want to do like a Q&A for the next plan with me and then see how it goes from there. I want to get lots and lots of questions and see if I can answer them in like a maybe two planner sessions because um, I feel like if by answering questions, it's fun for me and I get to know you and you guys get to know me. A little bit better. And I get to answer any questions that anybody has. So that's something I've been thinking about. And... I just feel like it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun to do. Okay, so let's start laying down these date date covers. A little 
I think I've asked this question a bunch of times, but I'm definitely a white space, white, white space person. I like to leave gaps. Cause I feel like it looks clean. Well, maybe that's not the, it's not the right phrase. It just, I feel like I can see, I can see more organized. Like I'll, I'll see, I can see what I'm writing. Everything is laid out. When it comes to this type of planning. I do have several other planners. Those are not really um, white spaced. And sometimes I'll be, I'll, I'll get lost in the, I'll get lost in the view because I have so much things overlapping or, or and it's all over the place so this is why I just keep myself organized and I try to make a white space and things like that as much as I can so let's head on to the sidebar for the sidebar I'm going to use this full box right here peace hope and love And since there's a header that says this week, I'm thinking about using it right now. The only thing is I'm not sure if I should do it above or below the full box. I'll show you right now what I'm talking about. And since the color is so perfect, I feel like it, it definitely belongs on the top, just so it can, you can see, I don't know, it flows right for me. So I was thinking about putting it here or down here. Which, it's looking really nicer here it's making more sense to put it down here yeah okay so now laying down my habit trackers yeah 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 i'll lay down my habit trackers first This is definitely different. I usually don't set it up like this. So if you see a little hesitation, it's just because I usually do, I go in a different direction. Um, in the washi page, they have, um, headers to match the washi and I, I like to use these on the sidebar so I'm gonna go with this one right here I feel matches perfection and then I'm going to put this beauty Right below it, I'm going to use another one of those decorative, I call them decorative headers. They do look so nice. I'm going to do that. And um, something else I'm trying new this week 
is going to be this. I'm going to place one of these since we barely have any of the dark peach. Just rather use it here. And then I'm going to use one of the decor, the decorative, yeah, decorative boxes. I use this one. I don't know about you, but I want a mug just like that. So pretty. And then I'll use the final right here. I like it. All right, so now we're gonna get on to oh, full boxes. Let's get on to full boxes. So I'm gonna go straight down like that, and I'm gonna start off with this beautiful flower. Do little minor adjustments. Um, next up, I'm going to use this box right here. going to do another really quick adjustment and final box um, I didn't want to do the coffee one so and there's so many roses here already so I might as well use the planner So I'm going to use the planner and just put it right here. I just feel like it looks perfect here. And it goes away from, or maybe I should have cut the flower. No, it looks nice. And uh, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Let's see. I think I should just so it can look nice. And I'm gonna cut off some. It's really not that that bad. It's just really little excess. And yeah. So now on to the next. On to the next side. I'm gonna go down like that. We're going to do, oh, okay. I'm going to do these, I call it scenery, but since they're double boxes, they're usually scenery. And I'm gonna place them right here. And 
right there. I didn't have to do much. No cutting, no nothing. It looks really pretty. Um, guess this is another. Oh, that might be a napkin. But this one's gonna come over here. So I just feel like this says Sunday brunch or something. Oops. Just noticed. Need a little to a, a little minor adjustments. That was very risky. Okay. And see, I'll do one here. I really want to use the pumpkins. I'm going to take this out, put it on the side just so I can stick this. Oof. Oh. Can't go wrong. There was that. Put our nice header. Since I have these, I'm not gonna. So now I'm left with one full box, which I could have used in the sidebar. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so let's get on with the week and we're gonna start planning out our work week and our to do's and everything. I'm going to start off by laying on the today's and to do's all of. Um, checklist I I need lists in order to function so these checklists come in handy so let's see I'll do the checklist right here I'll do a flag right here I'll do another flag oh totally forgot I have the quarter quarter box checklist which definitely come in handy but I'm gonna put it in the bottom just so it doesn't it doesn't clash with the top one and for here I'll just do a um, a flag circles the half circle scalloped circles <laughs> I said it right earlier the round one I'll do one here Just to continue, I'll continue on the next page, but just to finish off this section, I am going to put 
use these um these skinny they, they look like headers and I'm gonna use these um oh that's not gonna that's not gonna do it that's not gonna do it so what I'll do is I'll just um I'll use one of these and I'll do it dark There you go. Um, down here. I'll do one of these. And then right here, I will... So an appointment label. And I might as well put this here. You know what? This is not working. I'll put that to the side and I'm just going to use a mm, I'll do one of these. I know that the color is there's too much of it but I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, next, so to continue, we're going to do our checklist. Too long. And then I'll do a half checklist. Just put it right here in the bottom. Okay. And then go on with with the flag. Oh, and I only have one of that color. And do I have another? Yeah. That's okay. We will figure something out there. I'll figure something out here. It is Sunday, and Sunday's usually huge. So I could do a full box there, but I really don't want to. And the only reason why I'm not using the other side of those page flags is because of the color. And I just think it's going to be okay. I'll just, it's going to be fine. It looks nice. So 
that and now so we're done with that i am going to do my little thing i love to do which is take two of the boxes and put them together I'm going to do them just like that. And I'm going to put it right here. And then the last box right here is definitely going to be for, um, yeah, I'm going to do a scallops half circle and then I'll definitely put a full box um half a box and I'll do that one in light there you go oh uh, I'll do an appointment label Yeah, I'll do an appointment label right here. And, oh, I have one more, yay. Everything's going so smoothly now. Good job. And I'll do one right there. And here, I could just use anything there. But I won't. I'll just use one of these. They're very pretty. Just to throw in a little, a little peach. So to continue, this is where I'm going to start. Yeah. Okay, so right here we are going to put, um, I was going to use a Coffee Monday sticker, but I decided not to because I have another, and this is from the shop, and I love it, and I really want to use it because it's so fall. So why not? And I'm going to take her. She's pretty. She's This little girl right here holding the, looks like a Starbucks cup. And she will be the Coffee Monday. Um, grocery shop. Real quick and easy script. Um, okay, let me label my workout. So here we're gonna do some weight training. I should, I should, and I don't know, I should. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of these plain work labels. I'm gonna put it here and that way I can mark another, another workout. We got weight training, and then I'll just do this one for the steps. Um, I do have a bow that I would love to use. This is also available in the shop. They're on clear paper, clear sticker paper. And I'll just put it in. Do it here just to throw in some okay so on this side since I have another one of those might as well use another bow I 
I know there's two different types of bows, but there's hearts and bows, and I think it looks pretty. So, um, let me see how this looks. I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put it in this corner. And I'll just write anything right there. Um, yep. Okay. I'm going to take this laptop that came in a PR sampler and I'm going to put it right here. No. Right there. And right here, if I find a planner, yep. This is also from a PR sampler. It says planning. Definitely put that there. Um, I do want to use this cute little it's a coffee mug. I spoke about um, book club with my daughters. And they like to go to Starbucks, get little fat pays, and we'll talk about books. So I'm just going to put that right there. A little layering. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I'm missing something here. Let's see. I always neglect these and I don't like that. So I'm going to start using some. I'm going to use some icons. So... I'm grabbing this one for nail appointment. Oh, I hope you can see that. Right there. It's like a little nail. Just to show that it's the nail appointment. I'm going to place that there. Oh, and right here. Just to... I really want to use this. So this says Boss Babe. It's a scripture. And since that's a... I have a project that I have to do that day. What better way than to mark it? Perfect. And final, final, final. Did I mark? No, I didn't. Okay, so let me mark my workout. And then I'm going to use this scripture. This is all from a PR sampler. I'm going to put, put this. It says just breathe as a reminder. And then I'll just put this dumbbell workout right here. And done. So that is it. Uh, it was pretty fast <laughs> and easy peasy I'm giving you a little wiggle so you can see how beautiful this kit is and I just want to say thank you for watching and I will link the kit down below see you next week and hopefully I have a bunch of questions from everyone and I'll be happy to answer them until next week bye